Hello, I'm just about to do a test uh, recording to see if I can get uh, a bit of a play of the game at the same time as recording this uh, message. Um, the game is... let me just... So I'm recording... the game as well and it's recording now <laughs> I hope it works uh, this is the crow girl game um, the great crow which I started uh, a while back and I've just returned to um, and it's uh, all gone very silent because um, <laughs> I haven't got my speakers on because I don't want it to interfere, but I'm hoping it will still record the vi video anyway. There's a, a, a lot of problems in the sense that, you know, I've still got an awful long way to go and there's an awful lot of animation that I need to kind of put some work into, particularly, um, you know, for some of these sequences and, and things like that. But at the moment we're soaring through the sky high over the city plane. It feels like everything is going to turn out to be okay. Like I can forget all the troubles in the world. Oops, I forgot I got to click it. <laughs> the mag says we've got to land. I chose clicking the text because there may be people particularly young people who can't um, you know sort of like read as quickly as, as others so I thought it was just only fair really um, so here we are in Reform Street um, you know there's all sorts of uh, references and stuff like this um, but let's talk to Marg Marg is the crow that is teaching um, Krogel about um, crow magic as it shows here uh, so if we talk to, to him oops, missed that I'm going to have to pay attention a bit better <laughs> I wanted these you know, sort of like these portraits uh, to be quite detailed because I'm using a quite high resolution here, this is you know, sort of like full 4k resolution um, which is uh, pretty, uh, pretty high quality, I think. <laughs> I've got a lot of young people. <laughs> Sorry, young people. Um, Krogel is a bit impatient at times, um, but she does respect my. Okay, there's tons going on. One of the things that you'll see is we've got a kid on a roof here. So what we can do is we can actually use flock. Now, the, if I go back, there's obviously the pause menu, which is like for things like you know saving and, and loading. Uh, then we've got the magic menu, which is like an in, it is like an inventory of, of magic spells, and then we've got the proper inventory itself which obviously is empty at the moment we've collected nothing um, but we've got a series of spells here um, we've got basic magic we've got sense we've got cloak, calm flock and manipulate now if I use the flock spell on the kid on the roof Krogel uses a magic to turn into a flock of crows and then flies up there He tried to rescue his cats. So where's the cats? He climbed down just fine. <laughs> Typical cat. So what we do now is go to the magic again, and this time we'll use cloak on the kid. Now does 
I want to put more subtlety into these transitions, you know, when, when using magic like that. Um, but at the moment it's, it's a bit clunky, so you'll have to bear with that. So we, he's been rescued. Now if you notice there was also something else along here. There was the loose sign, which you can look at. This sign is dangerous, I need to fix it. If there isn't a heavy hint, I don't know what. Um, so again, come to magic. This time use manipulate on the loose sign. Wow, that was like real magic. Yeah, crow magic is cool. So Crow Girl has to find out where the um, girl was coming from. So let's talk to grumpy, this grumpy guy over here. So what's your name? Just call me Kevin. Did you just hear a yell? I'm not deaf. Came down that from down that alley. And you didn't do anything. Don't get involved, me. So now we can use manipulate again on the steel gate, which is locked. And it opens, and now we can go to Tanner's yard. So we have this, this woman who's locked out of her apartment. Um, and we have this young girl with a feather around her neck. So, so we talk to the woman. What happened? Are you okay? I lost my, my blinking keys. Can't swear in front of the child. We just moved here for, for somewhere quieter and now I can't even get into my new flat. I could unlock the door for you with magic. Might notice a theme developing as you play through this game. notice there's an old knife under here. If we examine it, someone left a knife under the dumpster. It's pretty stupid and irresponsible with a child about. It's only plastic but still pretty sharp. Now obviously I haven't got the character moving to the right place yet. Um, there are issues with movement and scaling at the moment on some of these screens um, so I'm leaving that for the time being but when you pick up an, op an object like that um, it will you know sort of show it on screen to show that you just picked something up um, so let's go look for the keys and to see if we can find Mitchell of course so let's let's chat with him Shots, was it? Ooh, some sugar, sugar sachets <laughs> on here. They will actually come in late.
Here we have Joy's Deli, which is funny, you know, nothing. The interaction isn't significant, but um, as my mother's name was Joyce, that's where that, that name comes from. But you'll see that there's other names that are referenced. But this one, Bennett, Bernard Park, is named after my dad. Um, there, are, there are things to look at here. Uh, Let's talk to the homeless woman. So Crow Girl can talk to Marg and understand the crow, but other people, all they hear is, is the squawking, which is obviously interesting. wasn't very nice of him. Sorry, I'm clicking through some of these too fast because I know them. Uh, one of the troubles of, of, of playing something that you've created is that you know sort of you get so used to it. So let's try magic. What have we got in here? Plastic knife. And there is Mitchell. Better put the lid back on. So we've got to Reform Street. See if we can get that guy's book for Greer. Is it for you? Neither will she. Little does he know. So if we use flock again. And then interact with the chimney. Came in the book, landed behind the chimney. So Krogel has got the book, so we need now we need to uh, use flock again to get down. If you notice up here, there, there, there's a sign to the toilet. Now, when I was creating this scene, I didn't intend to put the toilets in there, um, but there is actually a sign on the lamppost here, um, which. <laughs> When I showed it to, my, to two of my granddaughters, um, they were a bit frustrated that they couldn't get to the, to the toilets. So I created the toilet location f um, based on their feedback. So, you know, so there is some interaction in there. Um, and now Elv is uh, hanging around there. Try and see the ghost. You can actually go in the ladies' toilet. We don't switch views. Who wants to see a ladies' toilet? Unless you're a lady, of course. And if you try and go in the men's men's toilet, entering the gents would be inappropriate. You can have a look at the plaque in closer detail.
if you actually try and use the sense spell on here we get a response So there's something there we need to investigate later. So if we go back down this way and return to Bernard Park, we can talk to the homeless woman. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> We've got to use the book on the homeless woman. So there's a bit of goodness in Greer. And we get the keys. So we now have the keys. Oops. Of Sally's keys and the stuffed toy cat. So we can return to here, yeah, go to Tanner's yard, give Sally her keys. Here yeah, I found your. animation and, and facial changes to to make to the the main character here um, Sally because um, but that's that's you know it will be in progress later so we can now return the stuffed cat to Esme Everything is complete here. He seems to have vanished. And I think that's where I'll end it now. So.